Pam 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 pam. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I got the comment on my last video how to make a propeller in plasticity. So let's make it. Select the regular polygon, make it with six vertices by scrolling, select it, and now right click to accept. Press one, and with one, you can move all the vertices as you want. So we're gonna make this shape like this. I press scale and we move them. Right click to accept. This is going to be almost flat. This is gonna be the front uh, facing and this is gonna be the back facing uh, part of the propeller. So yeah something like this and now I select tree I select it and extrude it something like this and with alt and middle mouse button I can rotate my view and from here I just move it and I'm gonna cut two sections I select three point arc you can select it from here and I select one here one here and make something like that and make another one not far away from the first one ah let's make it again maybe a little bit something like that perfect so I select four I select the solid I press C for cut I select the first curve and with shift I select the second curve right click to accept it and now I delete the two I have this shape and with this shape let's uh, make some bevels in it some fillets something like that I select this one as well here the back facing one is going to be more rounded so it gives a nice shape like that select this one as well and this is something nice you can press 3 select this one and you can extrude this face a little extend it I keep saying extruding but it's extending it and now I press 2 again and uh, I bevel this too so we have them and now I can rotate press 4 select the solid R to rotate and uh, along the Y axis I make something like this I select the first curve shift the last one and I hide them so we have it like this and from here it's much easier we create a cylinder in the middle something like this I extrude it G, Z, move it down press 3, select this one make it longer press 2, select the edge chamfer it select the edge again and now bevel it make a fillet something like that and it's too close so I press 4 select the solid G and I move it a little bit outside like that and now I make an array I check if everything's good and now I select it and make an array select the center point I have three selected, I press OK, I shift click everything or select everything again, Q, Q, that merges everything together, and now with two, oh, no, I forgot something, something important, so I ALT click all the edges and shift click the other ones and now I make a fillet something like this this will help 
to fillet it when we join it together. So if we're zoomed in, we can do an, a fillet on this as well. And now again, do the same thing. Select with four, select this one. Radial array, make three, OK. Select everything, Q, Q. Right click to accept. And now I can uh, select it. I have Alt Z. So with Alt Z, I can see through. See? And Shift Alt and select everything. And now B and D. Something like that. Yeah, and we have a nice shape over here. And now to make it fly, we need to press R to rotate. And we see the center point is here, but we want it here. So we press V, press in the center, zoom out. And now with this blue one, we can make it spin. So we fly away, far away. So thanks for watching, guys. This was it, how to make a propeller. Like it, subscribe it, share it, and let's enjoy this software. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.